I was in the process of starting to clean this firearm, and as I clean a firearm, I always want to clean it from the top down. I'm going to clean my scope first, and it occurred to me that there's a lot of people that have uh, difficulty maximizing what they get out of the rifle scope. I figured I'd do a tip on that. All scopes have basically the same functions, but uh, I want to go over some things that will help you understand your scope and help you get uh, more out of it. Uh, first off, you need to understand the numbers that are on the scope. This is 6 by 24 by 44, and that's a variable power scope. It is 6 power on the low end, it is 24 power on the upper end. And so what, ha what that does is the, that is obviously for long range shooting. Most scopes are say 3 to 9 power, 2.5 to 10 power, so they go down lower in power. So those two numbers at the very beginning indicate the power of your scope. Uh, somebody may have a four power scope, so that would be a fixed four power scope. But in this case, it's a six by 24 by 44. So what the last number is, the last number indicates the size of the objective lens. And the reason why that's important is that the larger that number, the more light gathering capability the scope has. And so what that would do is allow the hunter to be able to acquire more light in low light conditions when typically that's when the animals move the most. So in order to get the most out of your scope, to get more light in it, you also want to crank your power all the way down, which will open up your field of view. So this scope right here is extremely difficult in low light conditions because it does not have a real large objective lens. It's not small, but it's about middle of the road, but it only goes down to six power. So if you want more light gathering capabilities, you need to turn your power down and you need to have a large objective lens. Now that you understand what your numbers mean on a scope, uh, how does that apply in real world uh, hunting scenarios? Let's just say that you're bear hunting and you're 20, 30 yards from a bait and you're taking this rifle. What you would want to do is you turn your power all the way down to increase the field of view. Or let's just say that you're caribou hunting up on the tundra and you've got a shot way out there and you need to suck that target way up. Crank this as far up as you can. But keep in mind that the higher you crank it up, the more power you crank it up, the more you're narrowing down your field of view. So what you need to do is determine what you're hunting, what the tool is, because not one scope is gonna be good for everything, what the scenarios are gonna be that you're hunting, and then choose a rifle scope that's gonna match that scenario and that way it's going to get the most out of your rifle scope.